Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 51. Flat Earth. What do we know? Well, I know it's 25 past 4 in the morning <laughs> and all I've done all night is sort of tried to dig out links to put onto Flat Earth UK, which one was I doing, Robin Poe 7, um, so that when you look at that video you've got loads of the references. I want every single link that we talk about because I watch them all. And when I watch Flat Earth, and Patricia Steer summed it up when she was saying about having sort of Flat Earth binges, you know, staying in the house and just watching Flat Earth video after Flat Earth video. And I love it, you know, it makes me happy, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. And when I watch them, they're normally playing out on an iPad or um, in the background while I'm you know, doing stuff in the house. So you, you haven't necessarily given the video your full attention. But when you're sitting working, you know, putting the, the links into a video... Um, you, you find yourself just sat there for an hour and you're glued to whatever it is that you're watching. And um, one of the links that uh, I'd uh, got putting, in, or I was putting into this Flat Earth UK 7 with Robin Poe was a David Weiss interview that he did. And it kind of wasn't an interview. I remember him talking about it before he did it and saying that he was given a really short section of time to do I think he was given half an hour and his plan initially I'm sure he said that he was going to try and get it done in 15 minutes so we could then debate him um, but he got all of his points in in half an hour he did a really cracking job and as Robin Poe pointed out the, the sort of rebuttal was him using <laughs> some NASA photos even though the guy he was debating you know agreed with David Weiss that everything NASA do is complete hokum, complete nonsense and total fakery. Um, but it, it, it was an interesting one because after the interview, somebody was on the recording saying, we can't go out on a limb and just say, yeah, we, we, we think the Earth is flat because otherwise all the work we've done on Sandy Hook or all the work we've done on 9-11 or all the work we've done on et cetera, et cetera, um, might not be given credence. Now, I wasn't going to mention Thomas Sheridan in this context, and I hope if he sees this, he, he understands why I'm mentioning him, because I, I don't want to discredit him in any way. In fact, I think Thomas Sheridan's work is so important. I'd really, really love to interview him. Um, but I was chatting to him on email and uh, about um, exactly that, about him you know, coming on, hopefully, Flat Earth UK, and I don't think he, you know, I kind of knew this anyway before I asked. He doesn't want to do exactly that. He doesn't want to tie himself to something that might cause people to lose faith in his exceptional work into psychopaths. And I can totally understand that. And my wife, you know, agreed. She was like, "Yeah, I can totally buy that. Why? Why would you want to, you know, um, risk all of your hard work on flat Earth?" And the guy summed it up when he said, we can't go out on a limb. And I went, whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody's got to go out on a limb for flat earth. This is a nonsense. There's proof. There's stuff that you can do. We can test flat earth. And um, so I made a comment and it's, it, you know, I can't remember what the comment was. But when I went back to the video, you know, I saw that I'd already made a comment. And I thought, well, no, I've got to, I've got to address what this guy's saying, which is, you know, we've got to go out on a limb if you want to believe in flat earth. Well, no. <laughs> you know, water at rest is flat and nobody's ever going to get water to curve around a ball and stay flat and stay, not stay flat, and stay at rest. You know, when it's at rest, it's flat. It'll dribble off the ball and <laughs> fall on the carpet and find a flat surface to be level on. And it will be level. Water is always flat. So, number one, test it. You know, water's flat. Simple. Um, the, 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 there's no curve, you know, this is something that people yell at the screen when, you know, I take the mick and, you know, when I've got uh, Robin Poe on that particular video that I'm talking about, you know, sort of going right up, and, where's the curve? You know, people get very angry because it's, this is a simple thing that you can go and test for yourself, you know, there is no curve. So go out and test it, <laughs> you know, um, and just so that there's three in a short video log, the horizon is always at eye level. It doesn't matter how high you go. You know, when you're in an airplane and you look from one side of the plane to the other, you can see an eye level horizon. You shouldn't. You know, based on the maths they give us for the heliocentric model, you should be able to see a curve. But you can't. And it doesn't matter how high you go. You know, I'm fortunate that my brother-in-law has just sent me an email saying somebody was in the mail because they'd sent up a cheap eBay camera on a helium balloon. And, you know, 
now he knows it's cost effective <laughs> not saying my brother-in-law is anyway tight um but yeah he's now knowing that we can do this we can practically you know send up a balloon and, and get some mad shots he's even telling me about the type of lenses we need to do and i, I i'm not an expert in lenses but he he's a photographer he knows what he's talking about so to prove flatness with lenses you know not that i'm saying he's going to put bias on it he just knows what what we need to prove it one way or another um so you know it's it's stuff that you can go out and test so nobody needs to go out on a limb for flat earth test it all yourself open your own eyes and don't take my word for it You're using geronism's word don't take anybody's words for this just test it i've been nathan oakley i'll see you in the next video